Hi guys, my name is Caroline. I'm currently attending Audacious College, first year student. And today's devotion is entitled, Jesus Is. And um, straight away, I know that all he is to me, but to highlight who Jesus is, is my Lord and my Saviour. When I got saved, I was in a really dark place. Um, I was, you know, drinking, smoking, promiscuity. Um, I thought that I could do anything I wanted, but I realistically, I was quite lonely, um, sad a lot of the times. And then my auntie invited me to church. And I was like, I don't need to go to church. What do I want to go to church for? Um, but I remember that she had immense joy and happiness. And so I thought, all right, you know what, let me go. So I went to church and the message was all about the father heart of God. The man who preached, he was an evangelist, which at the time I didn't even know what that was. But I felt like he was speaking to me. And at the depths of my being, you know, I always think of a puzzle and there's a piece missing. And I believe that's how we live our lives. There's that piece missing that only Jesus can fill. And so we spend many years with the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, looking at all these other things to try and fill that gap. But actually, it was the Lord. And I could not resist his grace as he fell on me, in me, and kept knocking on my heart, and I responded to the altar call to give my life to him. Now, at the time, I didn't know what I did. I just thought I went up and got prayer, and I cried, and that was it. But the following day, I remember it was um, Pastor Errol called me, and he said, Caroline, how are you? And I remember saying, I don't know, what's happened? Something is really different, something has changed in me that I have such joy. And he asked me what I did. I told him that I prayed and he said, oh yes, Caroline, you are regenerated. Your soul has been set free. Your spirit is anew. And I was like, what is, what are you talking about? What are all these big words that you're using that I didn't, you know, the Christian words that we have. I said, please just explain it to me in better English. And he said, Caroline, you're born again. I said, I still don't understand. And so he asked me what I did and took me step by step through what I did and then explained to me that I had now given my life to the Lord. And because of that, I must start living for him, pray, read my Bible and just trust him each and every day. First thing that happened after, you know, about 12 years of smoking um, marijuana, I stopped immediately, didn't touch a cigarette again, didn't smoke again. And I just had such immense happiness and peace in my heart. So, you know, to sum Jesus up in a Jesus is, he's so many things. He is just such an amazing best friend who never leaves me, even when I'm not faithful. He's so faithful to me. Um, he promises never to leave me nor forsake me. He's just stuck with me through the good and the bad. And... I can't give up on him because he just won't give up on me. And I thank God for his grace. I thank Jesus for his love that he shed on the cross of Calvary for me. And from that day to this, I've stuck by the Lord and he's stuck by me. And so Jesus is my everything. You know, I started off as he's my Lord and my Savior, but he's my everything. And without him... I am nothing. So I pray that I am fulfilling the purpose of getting to know the one true God while I'm on this sand side of the land of the living. And that if you don't know him, get to know him. Yes, yeah, the hardest walk we'll ever do being a Christian. But guess what? It's the best thing. Because little by little, day by day, he just continues to amaze me with his grace, his mercy, and his, and his love. So be encouraged, be blessed, in Jesus' name.